everyone. Uh, recording this video just because uh, some of the students want to know how to download and configure uh, the, the ready uh, installation virtual machine files. So usually you will get this link, I mean, uh, which is I uh, posted in the uh, MSTM chat. So after then you get this link, uh, you probably open this uh, uh, the URL and you can you can download from Google uh, Drive disk. Uh, this is a, around um, 8.5 gigabyte files. After then you download probably uh, like this, okay? You will get Win 7 uh, Oracle 11 G zip file. After then you open it zip file ju just like this. You will be get such kind of uh, such kind of um, let's say um, file. This is this one is very important. This is probably uh, okay. You will after the next check you will be get twenty three gigabyte, maybe less than twenty three gigabyte for 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 your case. So what you needed to do is open your visual uh, virtual machine, then you need to create a new one, then after that you needed to uh, select the existing one. So what's the existing one? Probably, uh, okay, there's uh, have to be your first, you needed to add it in the, uh, and the desk, what's the desk is storage, then you needed to uh, select it. Uh, I just I just want to use a different way, okay. Um, you need to uh, add it, add it, and from here you need to add it this file. Then they will be listed here. So uh, if you list it here, then it means you ready to select in the and when you create. So that's you needed to choose. For example, I have uh, this one. So we just give the name uh, Oracle 11, something like this. Uh, it, is, it is Windows, so uh, just need to choose Windows. Then other things you need to uh, give a proper memory size because it should be, uh, if uh, we did a test, if uh, the size of memory less than two giga, gigabyte, uh, you probably very, very slow, uh, sometimes freezing. So I just recommend more than two gigabyte memory separate to the virtual machine for, for your this case, for this Oracle database, because Oracle database are a little bit uh, bigger source. Mm. If you have enough uh, space better to give a at last, uh, better give us three gigabytes is fine. Okay, it should be enough for 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 you. I mean, three. Then, then you can can uh, then you can directly open it. So after then open it, probably uh, you will be get this windows just uh, like this. Okay, you probably. Uh, get this windows open this open the uh, program file in this uh, menu uh, you have to, you should be have such kind of um, menu it means in this operating system or too much already installed oracle 11 then uh, how do you know this is oracle 11 is uh, configured correctly and the proper already running so first things you need to check it just click the um, uh, let's see. Click the this one database control. Then they will be open it directly in the web page. So probably you will be get open at local host something like this. Okay. Then it means or if you uh, open that one of the page, maybe probably not your, uh, just like that, maybe you prompt some user and password, also fine. That, that means at last prove that your Oracle is running correctly. So, so far, so good. Another thing is uh, probably in your desktop, 
should we have one of the folder name as uh, SQL developer tools? This is very important tools for your development in PL SQL uh, in case. So uh, in this case, you need to open it. Uh, here's, I already opened it. Uh, let me sorry for that. You should be have uh, this folder, PLS Godot, that should be fine. Then after that, you can able to open such kind of uh, ID tools. So it's been called Oracle SQL Developer. So that's it. So that's all you needed to prepare. Mm. Good luck.